Hey guys, Vitality here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my settings, my commands, and the character build that I've run. I've been getting asked at least five times in every video I've released, so I'm here to basically show you everything that I do, from the character creation all the way to the commands that I put into the game. So if you want your game looking like this, then yeah, keep watching, I'm going to tell you guys all about it. I'm also going to show you the specs that I run on screen. So we've got a 47 ETI, 32 gigabytes of RAM and an AMD processor. We're getting pretty consistently 60 FPS as well, but if your graphics are a little bit lower, it's not going to affect it too much. There's a few key things that you've got to look out for that'll really impact the way your game looks, and I'm going to talk you through all of them today. So we're going to move over to character creation first. This is the first thing you run into when you're building a new character on a new map. And as you can see, we've got a fairly obligon looking girl here. Um, <laughs> she's got a few distinct features and I'll talk you through them all uh, as we go through this. But basically body template, I don't really touch that. Overall height, I drag all the way to the bottom. Body composition, all the way to the top left. And voice, doesn't really matter. It's a personal preference. I always go with the female character as well. In Ark Survival Ascended, there was a difference between the males and the females. I think males had a longer reach, but females could hit things faster. It was something like that, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't even know if the same sort of settings have carried over into ASA. I just still run the female character because being able to hit things faster is quite a good, quite a good thing in PvP. Uh, but if we move over to the head, as you can see, everything is zero, except the hair, but that's also a preference thing. Torso, everything is zero as well. That's an easy one. It's a little bit different when we get to the arms and the legs. Basically, with hand size and arm length, I always turn those to 100. The reason behind it is because in Ark Survival Evolved, if you had really big hands, then your gauntlets would break first. So if you were wearing flak, it's much cheaper to repair your gauntlets than it is to repair your legs or your chest piece. So having really big arms basically made that more of a target, and it would work out better in PvP. I'm not really sure if it still works that way, that was a little bit in the in the past, it was a couple of years ago that that was a pretty big tactic. It still might work, I haven't actually tested it out, but just in case it does, I'm still running the same settings, same character. Uh, so we go with the big hands and the really long arms, just because, yeah, much rather prefer um, repairing gauntlets than, than legs and chest. Uh, but it's the same thing with the legs. Foot size is absolutely massive, and that just means that the boots will maybe get shot first. Uh, no idea if this is actually how it works, but it is how it used to work back in the day, so take it with a grain of salt or follow along with it. It's up to you, really, at the end of the day. So, onto the actual settings in the game. I know a lot of you have been very curious about this. So music volume is, I don't really touch that to be honest, I mess around with it when I'm recording. These are the settings I'm running at the moment. So as you can see, resolution scale is 100, advanced graphics is epic, got this one on high, view distance epic as well. Everything else is medium except global illumination quality. The reason being for that is because it kind of, it changes the color of the, of the game a little bit. I'm really into that orange sort of glow, uh, especially along the beach and in the, the sun rays and everything, but it is totally personal preference. I think the water does look a little bit better as well when you've got it on. Moving over to this side, motion blur, I've got off, light blooms, light shaft, all off. The big, big, big important setting here is enable foliage and fluid interaction. Make sure you have this off and make sure all these uh, numbers are set to the lowest amount. Now, the thing is, when you have this on, what you're going to see is a lot of flickering shadows in the trees and the foliage. Especially at night, it gets really bad. I'm just going to throw a clip on screen. This is basically what it looks like if you have these sliders turned up. I'm not really sure what the mechanics behind it are, but for some reason, foliage distance and fluidity, it doesn't look good right now, so I definitely recommend you turn those sliders all the way down. And it should fix those shadow issues that you're having. Unfortunately, there's a weird side effect when those um, when those numbers go to zero. As you can see, a lot of these rocks that would normally be along the ground start floating. I'm not 100% sure what the correlation is. Um, if you turn them back up, the rocks go back under the ground. No idea why that's the case. It's such an odd sort of like link. 
I've got no idea how they, they coexist, but yeah, you've got to make the trade-off. Either you want the shadowy flickers, or you get floating rocks. There's really no in-between there. It does suck, but it's it's Ark Survival. It's wild card. You can't really expect a perfect game. In my opinion, it's much easier to deal with the floating rocks than it is to deal with those shadows that are jumping all over the place. So I definitely recommend just turning those all the way down. Footstep particles and decals are off as well, but that's really just to conserve frame rates. I do have a NVIDIA graphics card, but I turn DLSS off and frame generation, all that I don't really bother with. UI, the only things I've changed is melee camera animation, that's turned off, and I think I disable menu transitions. Camera settings are pretty simple, FOV's all the way up, shake scale is down. The camera in ASA is not perfect by any means. Honestly, it's like really weird the way the inertia works. Like you'll be moving your mouse around and there's a slight delay. I'm not really sure how to turn that off. I know there's some sort of uh, change you can make in your INI settings, but I haven't found it really works for me. Kind of hoping Wildcard fixes this in the future, uh, but yeah, these are my camera settings if you're interested. So that's pretty much the settings I run. I'm just going to show you guys a few commands as well. If you've got a really small character and you want to be able to see yourself in the grass, put the command grass.sizeScale and then change the number to something like 0.5. And as you can see, the grass gets a lot shorter. Doesn't impact the looks of the game much, but I think it will have an impact on frames. And it just looks so much nicer, especially when you've got a really small character. You can actually see other people. You can actually see people when you're PvPing and you can see yourself. If you don't want any grass at all, you can turn it to zero, but to be honest, I like having a little bit there, just for the looks of the game. Uh, but if you turn it to zero, I'm sure that would help frames quite a lot as well. Personally, I think 0.5 is perfect, but of course, it's up to you. The only other command that I put in is Gamma 4. That's the way I run the game. Um, I actually keep Volumetric Cloud on, just because I like the way the sky looks. So that's about it, those are my character stats, I mean not my stats, my settings and my character creation. I don't really mess around with launch options in Steam, I've not really felt like I needed to. But I think most people should be able to run these settings, they're not crazy high, I mean there's only a couple of things on Epic, but this is a really hard game to optimise, so if you do have a slightly worse PC, I would recommend turning off Volumetric Cloud, that does make your frames jump up quite a bit, and maybe reducing the resolution. Turning down view distance as well could probably help out, but aside from that, we're basically running medium settings and we're getting 60 frames pretty consistently, so hopefully this video helped you out. I know it's going to answer a lot of questions that people have been having. Thank you for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.